What is a key signature and why do I need it? My subscribers and anyone who follows my channel will know that recently I did two videos, one on how to play the major scale and the other on how to play the minor scale. And I want to move on now to actually improvising and using them. But before we do that, I realise it's really important you understand what a key signature is. So hopefully this lesson will explain that. And I'll be putting this video along with those others into a new playlist I'm going to create about how to get started making your own solos. And these lessons are relevant both for an electric guitarist and an acoustic guitarist. Because the major and minor scale can be used to produce solos for every type of music, from classical to heavy metal. And because this is a continuation into a study of the major and the minor scale, I'll put the links to those two videos down below in the description, as well as the video on how to speed them up and play them correctly. And I'll also put the link to the new playlist. Right, let's get started. What is a key signature? Every single tune has a key signature. And if you've got music above the tab, the key signature appears at the beginning in the first line of the music. Or if you're using commercial tab, it will appear on every line throughout the tune. And the key signature is the number of sharps or flats that appear in that tune. So in this example, it's three sharps. And you can see from this list of key signatures that any tune that appears with three sharps in it is in the key of A major. And you can also see that each different number of sharps or flats makes a different key signature. And just so it's not confusing, if you can't see a key signature, it means it's got no sharps and flats in it, which means it's in the key of C major. And when we say something's in the key of, what we mean is it's based round the major scale of. So something in C major would be based round the C major scale. And something in A major would be based round the A major scale. If you'd like a copy of this list of key signatures, as well as everything else I've covered in the theory lessons, in the form of a PDF so you can print it out at your discretion, go to www.ebooksforguitar.com and then click on the lessons and look for the theory lessons. And this particular ebook I've made available completely free so you can download it there. Right. Let's demonstrate and prove that the key signatures come from the major scale. So hopefully you've been through the lesson on the major scale and you can remember it. The structure of the major scale. To prove that the key signatures come from the major scale, the first thing we need to do is understand the structure of the major scale. Now, for most Westerners, you're more or less pre-programmed with the sound of the major scale from a child, as most nursery rhymes are based around the major scale, and virtually everyone learns the major scale in the form Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. Most of the people watching this video, then, should be fairly familiar with the sound of the major scale. It's just a case now of learning the structure. And this is really simple. And what we'll be using is the pattern of intervals. And this can be made up of either tones and semitones, or just semitones. For a guitarist, it's probably easier to remember the pattern for the major scale in terms of semitones, because a semitone is just a fret gap. So the pattern for the major scale is 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 1. We can demonstrate this on the guitar using either the bottom E string or the top E string. I'll be demonstrating this on the bottom E string. The first note I'll play is the bottom E string. Then two frets up, which is the second fret. 
two frets up again, which is the fourth fret, one fret up, which is the fifth fret, two frets up, which is the seventh fret, two frets up again, which is the ninth fret, two frets up again, which is the eleventh fret, and one fret up, which is the twelfth fret. I'll do that again more quickly. Open string, two, two, one, two, 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 one. And again, without me stating the numbers. You should be able to hear quite clearly that this is a major scale. It is in fact the E major scale. The reason this is an E major scale is because the scale gets its name from the first note that's played, which is the root or the tonic. In this case, it was the open E string. So when we played the G scale, we started on the third fret of the bottom E string, which is the G. And this rule will always remain true. So if you played the same pattern in the fifth fret, it would be an A major scale. If you were to play the same pattern in the seventh fret, it would be a B major scale. And if you were to play the same pattern in the eighth fret, it would be a C major scale. Now, when you play this scale in different positions on the neck, one thing you can't see is the fact that you're playing a different number of sharps and flats every time. And it's important that I demonstrate this to you. So in order to do that, I'm going to use a piano keyboard. Now, I know many of you aren't familiar with a piano keyboard. However, with a piano keyboard, the white notes are the natural notes and the black notes are the sharps and the flats. Therefore, it's really easy to see when you're playing a sharp or a flat because you'll be playing a black note. So the first scale we'll use to demonstrate this pattern works will be the C major scale. So we'll start on a C and use the pattern 221, 2221. So let's do that. First note, C. Then we go up two, so we skip the black and play D. We go up two, we skip the black, play E. This time we go up one and there is no black and play F. Up two to G. Up two to A. Up two to B and then up one again to C. You'll notice again there's no black. So you'll notice here when playing the C major scale we didn't need to play any black notes and this isn't an accident. The piano or the keyboard is quite a late instrument in the development of musical instruments so it was actually designed around this pattern which really demonstrates how important the pattern is. Something else it's important to point out at this time is, if we look at the key signature of C major, you'll notice there are no sharps and flats listed there. And this is the reason why, because when playing the C major scale, we don't land on any sharps and flats. And any tunes in C major are based on the scale of C major, and therefore they don't have any sharps and flats in them. Let's demonstrate this again, starting on a different note but using the same pattern, 2-2-1, two, 2-2-2-1. Two, one, two, 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 one. This time, we'll start on D. So, play at the D, then we move 2 to E, then 2 up from here, we land on an F sharp, which is a black note, then it's 1, so we land on the G, then 2, so we land on the A, 2 again to the B, 2 again to a black note, which is the C sharp, and then one back to the D. Now, if we go back to the key signatures and have a look at the key signature for D major, you'll notice it has two sharps. And this is what we've just demonstrated, the fact that we needed to play the F sharp and the C sharp. So every tune that's in the key of D major is based on the D major scale, and therefore you will always play the F sharp and the C sharp. Right, let's demonstrate this one last time. This time we'll go up to the E and do the same pattern. 2-2-1, two, 2-2-2-1. Two, one, two, 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 one. So, starting on the E, we do 2 up from there and we land on the F sharp. Then we do 2 up from there, we land on G sharp. Then 1 puts us on A. Then 2 from there is B. 2 up from there 
is C sharp, then two up from there is D sharp, and finally one up from there is back to the E. If we look at the key signatures now, you'll notice that the key signature for E major has four sharps in it. Therefore, all tunes with a key signature of E major are based on the scale of E major, and you should always play the F, G, C and D as sharps. In conclusion then, the key signature tells us which major scale the tune is based on. And every single tune you play has a key signature. And this shows you just how important it is to know the major scale and to understand key signatures. But not only that, having even a slight understanding of key signatures can really help you when you start to write your own solos or even compose your own music on the guitar. And with these courses I'm putting on YouTube, that's going to be the eventual goal. It would be really excellent if all the students who are following these courses on YouTube could eventually write their own music and write their own solos and play them all really well. And with that in mind, if you'd like to be notified when I upload new videos, hit the like, subscribe and the bell icon and then you'll be automatically notified when I upload them. And if you're new to this channel, you can find all the courses I've done in the form of playlists so you can go through them easily. And you can also find them at www.ebooksforguitar.com and there you'll find them categorised and easy to follow. And all the ebooks are there so you can view them for free online. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to see you again.